What's up YouTube, it's your girl Brittany and I am back for another video. I finally got hot Skylar, y'all. Everybody's been asking for Skylar. Wow, really? Yes. Dang. They're like, get Skylar, get Skylar. <laughs> I was like, I don't talk to Skylar like that. They're like, so get him. It's all good. So, we got Skylar and he's gonna answer some questions for us. So the first question is, how did you end up filming for Dub? How and how do you feel about recording his family and every um about everything they do? Um, well, how I started for Dub, I mean it goes way back. Um, it was a random, random kind of opportunity DM to uh to Daryl, and uh, once I had connected with him. Through like photography things, I had met Rich, and then me and Rich worked heavily over the summer, and then went on the tour with with Daryl, and that was kind of it. Just connected with everybody else and got cool to everybody. And so and, you went uh, on tour with him with the Kevin Gates tour. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. So after that, I mean, I mean, I, I should have to explain how right connecting <laughs> with everybody else works that way. Now so he's here. Right now that I'm here and. Was filming for Daryl, and and then opportunity opportunity came up, and Dub needed somebody, and so that was kind of it. This was, oh, sorry. And then how does it feel uh, filming with the family? I love it. I think it's I think it's fun uh, going along with your guys' adventures. It's kind of experiencing what what you guys are doing, and it's a lot of it's new stuff for me. Um, just as like an adult. I did like Disney as a kid, but that was like 2005 or something. So it's like, it's just cool to like do a lot of new things that I haven't done. Hawaii was, was really cool. And so I just enjoy it. I'm just, I'm here for the Actually, ride. one thing about hanging with us y'all is when you go on vacation, you get to actually enjoy the vacation. Like yeah, you're there to work, but Dejan and Moose still make sure they enjoy while they're right, there. Well. Right, no, exactly. What does your family think about your job slash career? Um, what do they think? Um, well, first they they support me heavily in mm -hmm. anything that I do, and um, I get a lot of work ethic things through um, like mentality, like through them, mm -hmm. and so like for them, they always want me to to like always be available or always just be up front with either what I got going on or always let like Dub know like what I'm doing or or they just always want me to be there Basically, and like be true to yourself. Yeah, Basically. exactly. And um they're enjoying it and they I mean they <laughs> my parents have their own Instagrams, they follow and see what everybody's doing. So oh, that's good. they just like support everything and um I couldn't ask for more for them. On, on how they yeah. support me and stuff, so. What do you like to do when you're not recording? Uh, really, I like to do a whole lot of nothing. Like, I'm a super chill person. I, I like just chilling at my house. I got a computer set up and, and just either just watch Twitch or YouTube on my phone, go get food, like, yeah. kind of just, too. like, like, chill. Like, I house. just don't... I don't go out and like if I'm not doing anything with with all them, I'm yeah. really just home because it's like my um, re-energize yeah. for myself and my mind, and I like to relax. That's what and, I was trying to tell them, like, because I like sitting in the house too. It's like when your home makes you feel like at peace and comfortable. You right, don't care exactly. to be nowhere else. You no. just like to be at home. And so when things aren't like planned or it's like something gets changed and I get thrown out of that, I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, I just like, I, I like just the peace of just chilling at home and, and doing nothing, really. Someone said, how do you feel about Edmund? How do I feel about Edmund? I love Edmund. Me and him definitely grown uh, since he was working with, uh, with Daryl. And at first it was a little like weird and awkward. And I think that just comes with it. Just, um, with with the job and everything and but like over time just I've had a couple good like long conversations with him and just mm -hmm. like learned and 
we talk camera stuff and it's really relatable and um yeah i, I really like them and that's good so i got nothing nothing bad to say and we're gonna start collabing and try to do projects ourselves with camera stuff and start a business or something i don't know so, oh yeah that'd be good a little camera production business so i don't know it's just it's real good um are you dating my dating um i guess technically no um not even actively speaking to anybody really oh, okay. either um it's just uh this is not what i'm doing right now. a free agent right now pretty much yeah it's it, it uh this wasn't part of the question but it's just it's a lot for me to uh it's a lot of mental effort for me to constantly reach out and try to talk to somebody like I'm a very like I want genuine I hate yeah. forced things That's like how I want I am it all like just, if I gotta constantly keep calling or texting you it's over like I'm right. gonna keep doing it all right I'm not gonna be searching on Instagram all day yeah DM it. I just like it's yeah, too it's much too effort much. and it just don't feel like yeah you look good but like what are the chances anyways I'm just like it's not even worth it. yeah the time like I want not something to chase good. somebody you right I just want a 50, 50 thing. It's got to be like, boom, like, oh, I'm at this music video set and we start talking and it's, it's yeah. real random and it just works out. I don't know. But I've been waiting for that genuine moment for a long time, it feels like at this point. So it's I'm going to just keep waiting. Later. Yeah. <laughs> the next question is, um, have you ever gotten cheated on? Cheated on? Um... I mean, not that I know of. I've only been in one serious relationship. Um, makes sense with what I was just talking about. Uh, and that was back in high school. And we dated for... Uh, we were, like, we were in love. Like, it was a year and a month. And she wanted to break up while I was in college. Um, it's always college that end of relationships. Right. It was long distance. And, I mean, I... I have nothing bad about her. Like, I, she generally was like her parents. I think it was just a ro rocky situation for her family, and we ended up speaking like seven months after the breakup, and and that was the last time we ever spoke. So I, there's no bad blood between that relationship. Um, so not that I know of that she personally didn't she. I don't think she did. Um, and it don't even matter at this point. It's been so long, but the. So yeah, I guess it was you can't just, cheat if you've only because there's girls I've, probably, I've talked to where yeah, they, but if y'all just talking, it's right, not like you can cheat. Right. It don't count. So. Someone said, "Who's the last woman that DM'd you? You don't have to show their page." And what did they text you? Shall I look? Yeah. <laughs> so you gotta I, check your message request. Because I don't um, respond to any. Dang y'all, so I don't like this Skyler. <laughs> it's no hope. He's not gonna respond. Um Well there's like there's some like if it's a, just speaking from a girl, like some of them are just genuinely supportive, like, oh I like the the family, oh, everything. Okay. Like there's those but But what's something that the last girl text that said, like, what's up with you or right. you keep Um <laughs> I think This one, <laughs> I feel bad. I feel so bad, but I just don't respond. This one person, I think it's, I, it may not be the most recent, but someone was like, damn, you don't fuck with me. So she was inboxing you multiple times? Oh my God. What's like, that's like, for me, that's like a little too far. It's like, all right, well, like now, like, why would I? I'm the same way, though. If somebody keep constantly inboxing me, I don't even open it. I don't check it. None of that it's only been a like, couple, but that was like, the third one. <laughs> it's like, all right, never mind. Somebody I'm like, I'm just very picky. I'm super picky. So somebody said, "What's your type of girl?" Um, type of girl. Um, someone who, someone who, like. Yeah, we in the conference room, so don't mind a person. <laughs> uh, someone who's definitely like ambitious 
has like something who like is really like striving for something great because I feel like that's all I've been trying to do my entire life I feel like I've sacrificed a lot of dating life to try to get like to the point I'm at now I'm not saying this is the end all greatest thing ever but um but so someone who ambitious someone who likes to just conversate like a lot of times of just like random talking stages with people are just dry and yeah. and like so you like somebody just, that talk a lot basically yeah because I'm a quiet person in myself it may not seem like it on camera but I definitely can be and um just someone who like wants to conversate with someone who cares about what I'm doing someone who is uh, thoughtful. So you like attention when it comes attention? to attention. Is that is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> is it? I don't know. It's like, but it's not like it's not like you're not giving me like be all over me vibes. But no. You're giving me like. I just want someone to care. Yeah, like attend to me. Like I'm gonna mm-hmm. attend to you type of relationship. Right. That's cool. That's cool. I'm, I'm not like in the phone texting all day. Like I I'm cool with going all day without talking to somebody because I feel like that's like how it should be you can catch up at the end of the day if you're not yeah. in your immediate presence or whatever and um, I don't know I just I feel like I just anybody I've ever talked to is like it's never felt mutual in a sense oh okay yeah I get it so it's like you'll find somebody one day especially getting older you travel a lot right you know with us being in LA so many people moving here you might find a girl that just moved here mm-hmm Somebody said, where are you from and where did you grow up? Uh, I'm from and I grew up in uh, Montana. Uh, I guess specifically Billings, Montana. It's up north. Montana borders Canada, but it's Billings is the biggest city in Montana. I think it's like 100,000 people there. Really? So it's still small compared to L.A., but... Um, yeah, that's where I was born and raised. Lived there for twenty whatever years, and except the one year I went to college, I went to Arizona State, but that was just one. That was like a full year, and then I, okay. I didn't drop out, but I just never went back. Oh, okay. Somebody said, "When did you leave Montana, and how did your family feel about it?" I left October of twenty twenty. Is when I was I like, you just left basically, like three. Yeah, years. it's been. Just over two, yeah, just over two. And um, how'd they feel? I mean, they've been wanting me to, like, be in L.A. or, or move out somewhere for a minute because, um, I mean, after, I, people don't realize how old I am. People think I'm, like, 21, 22, but I'm actually 25. <laughs> I'm 25, so, so college was 2017. Yeah. So it's like from 2017 to 20, like the three years I was at home. So it's like, I'm just working and I'm at home with my parents. So like they've been wanting me to you know, at that point move. So yeah. when everything was lining up to move, they were all supportive and they helped me move down here. We had a whole U-Haul and drove across the country. Oh, that's good. It seems like you have very supportive parents. Which yes, is good. I love them a lot. Someone said, do you have any advice on photography slash video directing? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I would say, I would say whatever, like if we're just talking basics, I'd say learn your camera and learn just everything it can do. And then the other thing would be just like, get your portfolio up. It don't matter who it is, just in portfolio, I don't mean by like, Oh, you gotta have somebody famous in your portfolio. Just make sure whoever you do have, make sure the work looks good. And you're gonna have to compare yourself a little bit to just build your skills up. Because I always say, like, the way I met Daryl was he wanted to see my work, and all I sent him were photos of my friends. Mm -hmm. It was nobody famous, so it was just purely based off the photo it doesn't matter who's in it right and so like that's what i take away is like just work on your own things first it don't matter who and i think 
if your work is good, it'll show for it. Mm -hmm. And then you can... Yes. And that can go for directing photography. or photography. Yeah. That's good. So, so basically, make sure you are 100% <laughs> prepared. Right. Get your skills up and go on YouTube. It's all free. But that's just basically like if you go to a job interview, you will make sure your resume is up to date. So... Mm -hmm. He's just saying, make sure you have everything up to date. You come prepared and you come, um, you know, to get the job. Right. Or else someone else is going to get it. <laughs> right. But that is all the questions we have for Skylar today. I hope everything that y'all asked got answered. If not, y'all don't inbox him. He ain't going to inbox you back. But. <laughs> <laughs> right. But make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And Skylar is officially monetized on YouTube. So mm -hmm. his link will be in the description. So make sure y'all go subscribe to him as well. Yes, because sir. he could get more coins. He don't need to just get coins from being a <laughs> videographer. He's a content creator as well. Mm -hmm. So go Try. subscribe to him. And we will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Thank you, guys.